Hi, are you tired of long hours and poor results in your business? Are you looking for a path to success? If you are, then listen up. I have a really great secret that will help you grow your business. My name is Renzi Richardson, and some people call me Coach Reed. I'm a business coach, a strategist, a trainer, and author. I have been helping small businesses grow and scale for the last 15 years. After I uh, spent 22 years in corporate America, I decided to take a leap of faith to start my business. Believe it or not, my first shot at business ownership, I failed. I thought I was doing everything right. You know, I set up my business. I was working long hours into the night. I was saving money by doing everything myself, but I still failed. It was one of the most devastating experiences in my life. I lost my income, I lost my home, I lost my freedom, but most of all, I lost confidence in myself. I saw some of the warning signs, but I thought as long as I was making enough money to keep a roof over my head, I could ride out all of the mistakes that I was making and that were chipping away at my success. I thought wrong. So in this webinar, I will share six mistakes that are fatal and why small businesses fail. But before I do, I wanted to share some facts as well as predictions about small businesses. You've probably heard that small businesses is the, the backbone of the economy. Well, really, there are about 31 million small businesses and of that 31 million, 7 million are minority small businesses. The prediction for minority owned businesses are 20% will fail in their first year, 50% will fail by the fifth year, and only 33% will survive by the 10th year. So with my plan, I can help you to make sure that you do not become one of the statistics in this prediction. So let's talk about some of the reasons why small businesses fail. The first one is just poor management from not having skills to lead to abdicating our power and our responsibilities to others. And I see this so often, I'm working with my clients and people who come to me. The next area is customer service. We don't put the value that we should on customer service because sometimes we're blinded by the fact that we're still making enough money to keep things afloat or we may be blinded by our own experiences as a minority and the services that we receive. Those wounds, sometimes they show up in the services that we offer our customers. The main one is that I want to draw attention to is that, you know, we let our businesses become outdated and irrelevant because we fail to change and remain competitive. Oftentimes, you know, some of the things that we started five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago to start our business does not mean that those strategies are still competitive. So sometimes we have to think about what is it that we need to do to change. When we fail to change, the work becomes harder, we become more exhausted, and this is at the point where we begin to disengage. I won't spend a lot of time on uh, cash flow. We all know, and it's a known fact, that women and minority-owned businesses have a very difficult time getting bank loans. And when we're not able to get money that we need, then we have a shortage in cash flow. We still have to think about those things that we can do to help us to survive. One of the areas where I feel like we can make a difference is in our own development. But a lot of times we don't put value in our personal development. As I mentioned before, a lot of the things that we may have known, you know, when we came out of college, when we got our MBA, is that information still relevant today? But in today's economy, it's very fluid. And because it is, we have to be able to follow the trends and we have to be able to adapt or change in order for us to stay competitive. And the last reason, and I think this is one of the biggest reasons, is simply we just don't know. Most of us don't know what it means to be a business owner, a CEO, or how to shift from having a gig on the side to running a six or seven figure enterprise. If you're anything like me, I didn't grow up, you know, in a neighborhood where I saw a lot of business owners. Who I saw in my neighborhood were hustlers. They were hustlers collecting nickels and dimes to make a living. And so if that's my point of view, 
in order for me to be able to acquire new skills and to acquire those those traits that I needed to do in order for me to grow my business. So you may be feeling, you know, some of the things that I'm saying are spot on or they could be pain points for you. But if they are and you're at that point to where you have lost your confidence or you dread putting your feet on the floor or you think about the next day is going to be another hellish day at work, then I, you're still at that point where you can do something about it. If you feel like you're at that breaking point, there's help. I can help you take a look at where you are now and help you to turn your business around. So if you're ready for a breakthrough, here's a couple of things that I want you to think about. Before you think about leaving your business or before you decide that you're going to resign to the circumstances that you're experiencing now, I want you to think about there's an opportunity for you to have a breakthrough. I can show you how to turn your company around and to remove the blocks that are holding you back. Remember, sometimes we just don't know, but there's help. I can help you. The next most important thing that you can do is reset your business. What would it feel like to be energized and excited about your business? What would it feel like to attract new customers and keep the current customers you have because they choose you time and time again? What would it feel like to have more happiness and time with your family and friends? If you are ready to learn more about our 12-step signature coaching program, then click the link that will take you to the next big step towards your success. It's important that you don't wait. Click the link, and when you click the link, it will give you instructions on what to do next. Go now, and I will see you on the other side.